Chances are you know someone who's dealt with osteoporosis, but when you think of that person, are you thinking of a man? Osteoporosis might be thought of as a woman's issue, but men are twice as likely to die from complications related to it. So how do you spot the signs and, more importantly, avoid the disease? One doctor says it's as simple as one, two, three. Gary Clemens has been walking ever since he started chasing his big brother's shadows. And they said either you stay, keep up with us or you get left behind. What do you do? You learn to walk fast. But these days, the 62-year-old has a different reason to keep up. He's trying to stay on top of his osteoporosis. You got a lower disc in your back that's de decaying away. So every day... It's good for you. It keeps you in shape, keeps you in good health. Gary walks to support his back and his bones. And this is where the fracture is. Dr. Arumova says Gary is a prime example of a disease that's on the rise. Every day I see at least one osteoporosis patient. Yes, at least one. Osteoporosis can be a complicated diagnosis, but the short version is it's a disease that makes your bones weak and more likely to break. It's a silent disease, meaning you don't have any symptoms until you break a bone. But you might have noticed that the literature, the meds, and the ads are all geared toward women. Five foot four. Oh, no, I'm shrinking. There used to be somewhat of a stigma uh, thinking that osteoporosis is a women's disease and it's related to menopause, you know. Uh, but now we know more about osteoporosis, especially in men, and we are finding more and more bone loss in men compared to before. Dr. Mova says men might need to actually be more aware of osteoporosis. That's because one in four will break a bone after they reach 50. In fact, men are more likely to get osteoporosis after that age than to get prostate cancer. And the scariest part is men are more likely than women to die within a year after breaking a hip due to problems related to that break. We don't know why exactly that happens, but uh, that is the most concerning part of this whole thing. Fortunately, there are new medicines to help work on the problem. One actually forms new bones, others prevent bone loss. And there are things you can do now to keep bones healthy later. Dr. Movo says, one, get calcium and vitamin D. Number two, stop smoking and limit alcohol use. And three, do weight-bearing exercise, like running or something a little less strenuous. I will let them a lot of walk in this winter. Any kind of walk is good for the bones. Just like Gary's choice. Just walking around and just doing my exercises. And following those simple steps. I'm hoping I last as long as my mom it is last. Could mean a less painful route later on down the road. And she's still going strong. And again, Dr. Mova stresses this is a silent disease, so he says it's a good idea once you reach a certain age to start getting a bone density test along with some of your other routine ones. When you begin those really depends on you. As always, he says, talk to your doctor. Joy Howe, CBS2 News.